Hey guys, Jeff here. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, how do you build a website, or how did you build a website like besttechie.net? And my answer is, usually I point to an older video I did, but I figured that I'd, I'd update that video, so to speak, because a lot has changed since I did that video. So, in terms of the questions I get is, like, what platform did you use, what tools, uh, did people help you, and things like that, what's the best way to go about building it? So the first thing I recommend is that you buy a domain name. Uh, usually, for if you're really serious and you're really into it, I recommend you get for as, uh, get get the domain as long as you can. For you know, it's like ten dollars a year now for a .com or .net. I recommend you get one of those and lock up as many domains as you can, uh, as many as you can afford at least. Uh, so that way you can secure your name online. That's one. Two. Get a good web host uh, when you're building a website. You want to have something that's online a lot. Uh, as I've mentioned in the past, because uh, making sure your website's online is important for search engines for good SEO purposes as well. Uh, plus, you just want to make, make sure people can access your site, uh, so that way people know it's reliable and that they can go to it if they need help or whatever the case may be. So that's two. Uh, so in terms of web hosts, I'm going to bundle this into like a 2.A or something. I recommend WebAir, WebAir.com. That's who I use. That's WebAir, one word. And you can check them out, again, webair.com. Very good for shared hosting, dedicated hosting, VPSs. They can, feed, they can uh, meet your needs, whatever you need. So, okay, so going into the tools now, what tools do I recommend? Uh, so on the Mac side of things, uh, as you know, I'm, I'm a Mac user right now. I use an uh, application for uh, editing um, called Coda, which is $99, by a company called Panic. They make excellent software. In fact, I also use their FTP client called Transmit, which is another very good piece of software for FTP. Uh, that's on the Mac side of things. On the Ma also on the Mac side of things, I also recommend uh, Fetch for FTP. If you don't want to go out and get Transmit, Fetch is another good one. Not free, but also very good. And also, if you want a free FTP client on the Mac side of things, CyberDuck is a good one. On the Windows side of things, I recommend uh, FileZilla is a good free one. FileZilla is also cross-platform, which means it'll work on Linux. Mac and Windows, so you're set on all bases there. Although I think it's very buggy on the Mac side of things, so I don't always recommend that. Uh, but definitely on Windows, it's very solid. Also, Smart FTP is another good one, and also Qt FTP is also another good one uh, for Windows. And I think they also have Qt FTP also has a Mac version as well. So in terms of editing on on, on the Mac, on the Windows side of things, uh, you have Dreamweaver, which is pretty good by Adobe. It's Good. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it'll do the job. I don't really know much. I don't. Well, I know much, but I don't remember much. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, on you know, for Windows, what's like a good web-based uh, web website editor, so to speak. Uh, the reason for that is is because I, I didn't really get into it so much until later on when I was on the Mac. So I don't know 100% sure like if there's anything that's equivalent to Coda on Windows. If there is, let me know. Or if you know a good one other than Dreamweaver, feel free to leave it in the comments. I know there's text editors that are pretty good. Like, uh, well, there's a few that I used in the past. Off the top of my head, I can't remember the names, but there are some good ones out there. If you just look around, you'll find something. And if you know any, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, so that's what I usually use for uploading and editing those two sets of applications, FTP and, of course, the web editors. Now, in terms of platforms, there's two platforms I, I currently recommend. One I recommend more so than the other ones, and that's WordPress. WordPress, uh, you can get at wordpress.org. You can download it, upload it to your host, set up a database, and, and configure the files. It's very, very simple. In fact, some web hosts, including WebAir, have a one-click install, which does it all for you, which makes it really nice if you're uh, a newbie and you're not really sure how to set things up. So check that out, WordPress. Another one's called Drupal. It's a little bit more complex, but some people say it's more powerful. Uh, Drupal's very powerful and it has a lot of features and functionality that you can add, and that's also built right in. Um, but in terms of sheer ease of use and just in terms of just making a, uh, using a great content management system, I usually recommend WordPress. First of all, there's a number of themes available for it. Not, not that there aren't on Drupal, but there's just seems that there's more so on the WordPress side, and also. Uh, you can. It just seems like an easier platform to learn, uh, for for especially for someone who's just getting started. So I recommend WordPress usually. And other questions I've got like eh, that people want to know is: Should you build your site by yourself, or should you have help with you? Now 
I usually, this is a two-fold question, and the answer is you should always try and get some kind of help, but originally you're not going to have that help. Now, when I first started my site, and this is big, uh, I usually recommend you, you participate and you become an active member on other sites similar to the one you're starting. The reason for that is because you build up uh, trust with other users and you build up a relationship as well as people start to think, you know, you know your stuff. And assuming you know your stuff, they'll, they'll think that. Um, and, you know, rightfully so, right? So build up a trust, build up people who follow you, who think, you know, who, who think that you know, you know what you're doing, or at least that you would think that they, you would think that. <laughs> but anyway, so you build up a trust, and once you have that trust, they'll follow you say, hey, I'm starting a new site. You don't want to be all spammy about it. Maybe put a link in your signature. Maybe uh, just make a, if they have a, a, a forum for it, you can post a little thing saying, hey, I just started the site. You want to come check it out? And people will sign up, and they'll start helping you build like your community. Now, with, I have a forum, so that, hel that helps with um, members. But if you don't have a forum, you just have a blog, and look for people who are interested in writing about the topics you want to write about. So see if people are be willing to lend their expertise or knowledge and help you write stuff, either whether it be a blog or help moderate forums and things like that. I've been lucky to have great admin administrators and moderators who have been willing to help me out. So I'm really lucky like that. And it's important that you find people because honestly, if I were to moderate my site all by myself, it would be a real pain. It'd be a, a lot of time and input. It, it would be I would be focusing so much time on that I wouldn't have time to do other things that people want to see. So highly recommend you get people to help you out if you can. It's very important uh, that you have people who are willing to help you out and that do help you out. So that's that's basically the gist of how to build how I built my website and the tools I used and what I recommend. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email Jeff at besttechie.net. And of course, you can um, post on my site, on my forums, besttechie.net slash forums, and get all the help you need there. We do what we have web help and web design help and you know graphics and just computer, whatever you need. It's all there, besttechie.net. We'll see you next time. And remember, take care of your computers.